Imagine being told you'll need major cancer surgery, removing your stomach, colon, or bladder, but then skipping the surgery entirely and still walking away cancer-free. Sounds impossible? Well, it's happened before, and it just happened again now, backed by a groundbreaking new study. I wouldn't be able to eat or talk. <laughs> My two favorite things in life. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Maureen Sidaris was diagnosed with gastroesophageal cancer. The standard of care was chemo, radiation, and surgical removal of part of her esophagus and stomach. But Maureen entered a clinical trial targeting tumors with a genetic flaw called mismatch repair deficiency. These tumors lose their ability to repair DNA mistakes. As a result, they build up mutations that make them stand out. And with the right immunotherapy, the immune system can recognize and destroy them. The trial she joined used six months of immunotherapy instead of surgery. And Marine's results were extraordinary. And now we know hers wasn't a fluke. A new study published in the New England Journal of Medicine looked at similar patients who would normally have undergone surgery first. Instead, they received immunotherapy for six months. And what happened? 82% of patients had no detectable tumor by the end of treatment. Even more stunning, 80% of patients avoided surgery completely. And after two years, 92% were still cancer-free. This approach worked because their tumors had the same mutation, mismatch repair deficiency, which is found in about 3 to 4% of all tumors, though it's more common in colorectal, gastric, pancreatic, and endometrial cancers. If you or a loved one is diagnosed with cancer, the first thing to ask your doctor is, can we test for mismatch repair deficiency? It could determine whether you're eligible for treatments that might help you avoid surgery entirely. Avoiding surgery isn't just about skipping the operating room. For many patients, it means avoiding lifelong issues like bowel, bladder, or sexual dysfunction. But what about side effects from the immunotherapy? Surprisingly, most were mild to moderate and unexpectedly low for a cancer treatment. And for those who didn't have a full response, surgery was still an option with no loss in effectiveness. So if immunotherapy and precision medicine can train the immune system to fight cancer, can lifestyle help support that immune response too? Do the intermittent fasting because fasting is honestly like so advantageous from many, many different perspectives. Like it's free and it's convenient and it's simple and, you know, there's like very few rules in it uh, and you can apply it to any doctor and any diet you want to do. So there's so many advantages to doing it. It's the most powerful tool you have. So you need to use it, right, in whatever way that you, you feel comfortable. Dr. Jason Fung has worked with patients using intermittent fasting as a metabolic tool. It doesn't replace medical treatment, but it might enhance your body's ability to heal. We now know that cancer cells can thrive in environments with high glucose and high insulin, and fasting can disrupt that. We've covered the story of a stage 3 follicular lymphoma patient who began fasting under guidance. In just three weeks, her tumor markers and imaging showed dramatic improvements. You can watch that full story here. It's deeply inspiring and might offer hope to others exploring complementary approaches. So if you're facing a major cancer treatment decision, ask about genetic testing, ask about clinical trials, and explore the role of lifestyle with professional guidance. Subscribe for real breakthroughs, real stories, and practical tools for healing. Hope is powerful. Let's use it.